Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Jake again. In case you didn't figure it out from my funny looking hat or the fat monkey over here sitting in the chair. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do another review. And it just so happens to be another Tuborg. Tuborg. Tuborg beer. Tonight's it's Tuborg night here on uh, on the broadcast on Saturday night. Uh, tonight Jake feels assimilated. <laughs> So he's doing Borg beer, Borg beer from Denmark. <laughs> so here we got another two Borg. <laughs> it's a two Borg. Let's get it on the camera. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. Wrong side, Jake. No, wrong side. This side, this side. This side. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. I guess so. I don't know. Let's try this two Borg beer. Two Borg. Resistance is futile. Uh, it's a premium beer. It's called Pure Gold. It says it, it claims on the can that it's perfectly balanced. It's a 500 milliliter beer. It's 5.5 percent alcohol by Valium, and it's got Valium in it. It's the first beer ever to have Valium in it. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's no Valium in this. It's brewed and canned somewhere in Denmark. We oh, don't need to read that. Let's pour it up. We hardcore, we hardcore, we pouring this up. We drink it anyways, we don't care. <laughs> Holy Jesus. It looks the same as the other one. <laughs> it looks identical to the other one, the uh, the green one. Look at the green one. <laughs> the two more green from Denmark. From Denmark. Let's have a sniff of this baby. Oh. <sighs> It smells. It smells just like the last one. Exactly the same. Exactly as the Tuborg Green. This one they call Premium Green. It smells exactly the same. Uh, corn with some slight hops. Very slightly hoppy corn lager with a very white head. I love I love the clarity though. Got to give it a couple of points for the nice clarity. I'm glad they filtered it 17 times because it looks so beautiful when it's super, super filtered. Let's have a taste. Well, well, um, let's have another taste. I don't know. What am I? What can I say? I mean, it's. It's 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 virtually the same beer, in two different cans. They just put it in two different cans. It's almost virtually the same freaking beer. It's a typical European style lager. What can I say about it? I mean, I'll give one more taste and see if I can't get something out of this. No, I really can't get much out of this other than then it's typical, it's corn, it's lager, it's European. Not much I can say about it, really. It's, it's mediocre at best, mediocre at best. And the carbonation, again, is too high. You guys, stop carbonating your beer so freaking high. It's burning my tongue. I don't know. The only thing I can say really good about it is that it's super nice and filtered. That's all I can say. You can see, look, you can see me through the glass. <laughs> you can see how clear I am through the glass. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's typical. It's, it's, they call it gold. I don't know why pure gold. It's not amazing. It's absolutely not amazing. But again, it sits at the typical range of being a, you know, a somewhat passable, somewhat 
mellow, melancholy uh, European style lager. Um, you drink it. You would drink it if your fellow, if your if your mate, if your friend gave you gave you one. You drink it in a heartbeat, especially on a hot day. You would absolutely drink it. You probably would not, might not buy it again if you bought it for the first time, because it's not amazing. Uh, I wouldn't go any higher than a stable three out of five at the very, very most. And at least it's worth a damn good. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you and 17. Cheers everybody. Keep your mugs full. And drink good whiskey. No. Drink good whiskey for the win. Yeah. I love my homemade whiskey.